Train up a child the way that she go when they're older to not part from the Proverbs 22 6. So you train by example. You can't tell your kids to get out of the room, amen, because they don't need you watching. This is an adult entertainment. Come on, you don't need to be watching adult entertainment. Amen. 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 Amen.
Jesus the living Christ. And somewhere in your faith, you got to let go of the arrow. Come on, somebody. You're the biggest problem. So next time they steal something from your house, don't go try to find where they, amen, pawned it at and buy it back for more than it's worth. Come on. I said, don't go down there, get your stuff back, and fit, call the police and fill out a police report. If you really want to help them. Man, one of my stepboys do that to me one time. Huh? I said, you got 30 minutes to bring me all the money you took from me. 30 minutes. I said, you'll be locked up.
fathers. They're just instructors. But the DNA of a spiritual father or a spiritual mother, they don't seek just to befriend you. They've been called and chosen to give you a business. That lady one time years ago, Man. Well, see, you know, like I preached the thing that needs to make somebody mad. I preached it one time. I was preaching so strong one time, I stopped and got mad at myself. <laughs> Don't think this thing's just coming out of us. No, it's coming through us. So long time it's coming back at us. And that's you.
It comes from the word fornix, which means the foyer. We have a foyer to this building, the church out there outside those two doors before you get out to the exterior doors there. Right? The foyer, the fornix. When the Colosseums in Rome in that day, Paul was preaching, and he's talking about fornication, which comes from that word fornix or the, or the foyer of a place. In the fornix or the foyer, amen, of those Colosseums, uh, there would be male and female prostitutes naked. As people came in, entering the Colosseum, and for a right price, they would do any sex act you wanted them to do with you or just for you. Anybody give a Holy Ghost? And what were the people coming to be entertained by? They were coming to be entertained by lions devouring Christians. Watching Christians be burned at the stake in the middle of the Colosseum. So before they could get in to watch Christians being killed, and then they were sleeping around and having sex in the fornix or the foyer, and then having fornication acts. Come on, somebody. Friend, that spirit of fornication is still connected, amen, to the killing and the destruction of Christian faith. Destruction in that day of Nero and all those like him was to destroy the Christian faith. But before they thought they could do it by destroying Christians. Amen. But before they would come in and watch the saints be martyred, murdered, they were having fornication sex prior to entering the council. So you go ahead and keep sleeping around and you are killing your faith. Faith you have now is no longer supernatural. It's just a superficial. It's a faith in faith, not in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, Daddy is correct. Now, Revelation 3 19, he said, As many as I love, I chasten and I rebuke. Yes. Oh, brother, preach to us about a God of love. Okay, as many as I love, I chest, I spank, I get on to. I rebuke, chest. Somebody say, as many as he loves. And Revelation 3 19 goes on and says, Therefore be ye zealous and repent. Turn to God and turn from the sin. Repent. Then verse 20 gives us the portrait, and it's the most famous painting of all modern Christendom in, in uh, this century and the last. Amen. Jesus standing outside the door. Man. Behold, I stand at the door. And I know. Any man will hear my voice and will open the door. I will come into him and son with him and he with me. Son is abbreviated for supper. It's all about fellowship. He's standing outside the door. What door? He ain't standing outside the door of the world. He's standing outside the door of his own. Daddy trying to get back in his house where his kids are. He's on the outside where he used to be on the inside. But somewhere along the way, they didn't like Daddy coming in with a message of love, rebuking him, and chastening Standing outside this closed doors 
windows of many of his houses in America and around the world. And he's knocking and the knock is with his voice. And it's a word of correction. Saying you gotta get the sin out if you want me back in. If, 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 you, if you want my power back, you gotta quit compromising. Somebody shout that is wanting to get back in. But listen again, he said, as many as I love, I'll chasten our rebukes. Chastens and rebukes. Back to Hebrews 12. If ye endure chastens, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? He said, if you endure, if you go through the process of daddy spanking you and correcting you, someone say, you endure it. That means you don't rebel. You respond with repentance. Come on. He said he deals with you as with a son. And then he just gets right down to home with us. The rest of you that's a father, don't you deal the same way with your children? Hello? I'm not spanking my kid because I want him dead. No, I'm, I'm getting on to him. I'm correcting because I don't want him to die. Because Proverbs 23, the Bible said in verse 4, 13, not 14, but 13. You got a tornado in the tongue, Daddy. Amen. But he said, he said, don't spare the rod, correct your children. He said, because if you correct them with the rod, you'll keep them from dying. Verse 14 says, you'll beat them with the rod and you'll save their soul from hell. I don't want so much to think, boy, that's King James Version. Beat with the rod, beat, beat, beat. No, beat don't mean upside the head with a claw hammer. Or a brick bat. Or a wood bat. Or whatever bat. Come on, somebody. It means to chastise, to spank, grab hold of whatever it is. Come on, leather belt, little ember switch. He glued us in that. Come on, rear it in. It'll spark that spiritual nerve that'll reach the heart and drive foolishness out. Come on. 